Last word of the night, I believe. We'll be going to the MHA for Mount Pearl South, the Liberal MHA. Mr. Paul Lane, good evening and welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Jonathan. It's uh, great to be uh, on again this evening. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, you know, yep. you are my karaoke colleague, and, and anytime you need to uh, say something, you are more than welcome to come on and do so. What's on your mind tonight, sir? Absolutely. Well, Jonathan, I uh, just wanted to uh, pick up our, uh, where we left off in our conversation around uh, affordable uh, housing and so on. Oh, please. And uh, Yeah, and uh, I was glad to hear uh, Ron Ellsworth on this evening, and... Uh, uh, speaking about this very uh, serious issue, and it is a very serious issue, but I, I um, and we talked uh, last week about, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, there's not enough uh, Newfoundland Labrador housing units, there's not enough uh, red, rent supplements for people who need them, and, and that is a very, that is an ongoing problem, and we have people on a wait list for an extended period of time, but I just wanted to focus a little tonight, if I could, on uh, senior citizens in particular, and, uh, you know, I look at uh, my district and my city, the city of Mount Pearl, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we have many senior citizens uh, in my community, uh, a lot of them that are living in the older sections of Mount Pearl, you know, have been, been here for a lifetime, quite frankly, and, uh, you know, and a lot of them are living in older homes uh, in, in a lot of cases, perhaps, you know, the spouse has passed away, they're living there by themselves, they can't handle the home anymore, it's getting too difficult, and they want to uh, go into some affordable seniors' housing, and they can't, uh, you know, they can't afford to pay, uh, you know, uh, three hundred thousand or three hundred fifty thousand dollars for uh, one of these uh, condominiums. It's just not in the cards for them. Their houses are certainly not uh, valued uh, at that amount in a lot of cases. And uh, you know what they require is affordable seniors' housing, like you would see, for example, up at Masonic Park. Now, the only problem is, is that uh, there's wait lists in these places for, you know, I'm hearing uh, anywhere from five to ten year wait lists, and sometimes you're hearing even longer than that. And uh, so, you know, there has to be more done uh, to develop uh, uh, seniors' housing. And we are seeing a development uh, taking place. Uh, granted, there is a, a little bit of controversy, I think, around uh, where it's going and, 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 you know, the NIMBY factor we hear about and so on. Yeah, wh but, where's the but, development? Uh, there's a small one going down off of uh, Delaney, at the bottom of Delaney Avenue, off of Park Avenue. Okay. How, and, how many people uh, can uh, uh, reside there? Well, the, the, what, what happened in that particular case, as I understand it now, Jonathan, is that mm. the city of Mount Pearl uh, had some land uh, down there. So the city donated, basically donated land or selling land for a dollar. Uh, Newfoundland Labrador Housing uh, is providing a subsidy of a certain amount per apartment. I'm not sure what the number is. I I want to say fifty thousand dollars per apartment. Like that could be wrong, so don't quote me on the number. But there is sure. a subsidy, and what's going to happen is that the developer is going to build some condos, and uh, some of those condos he will either rent or sell outright for market price, and then there will be some that will be subsidized rentals. I think I believe it's I believe it will be ten is my understanding. Mm -hmm. But you know, and and so that's an example of where the municipality, the provincial government, and the private uh, industry got involved and came up with a uh, development that would provide some affordable housing. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole issue of where it's located. Mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I'm, I'm people afraid in the you can't. That, you can't. No. we got about 20 seconds here. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. But the point is, the point is yeah. that this is an example of something that can be done and perhaps in other areas. And certainly we look at Masonic Park. There's lots of land up there. Uh, where more affordable senior housing can be put. So, uh, you know, this is a problem. It's an issue for seniors, and uh, the government really needs to work on uh, on doing more. I know that there's a lot of good programs in place. I applaud government for each and every program that there is. But the fact of the matter is that there's still a lot of senior citizens in my community gotta and go. throughout Newfoundland and Labrador that are falling through the cracks. we got to do more for them. I uh, put this question to you. What would your government uh, do? What is your policy? I want you to call back next week. Tell me all about it. Because... Even if it takes five years to build these houses, uh, what happens to the seniors within those five years, Paul? i leave you with that question. There are no construction workers available to build these damn things. Those are the questions I want to address with you on Monday. Deal? Absolutely. And this and don't right. have this part of the problem. Good. All right. We got a date, sir. Call back. All right. Absolutely. Take have care. Good night. You too. Bye-bye. Very interesting question. Who the hell is going to build these seniors' homes?